Good vibes and good times. Grab a drink at the newest brewery that used to be a salt mine. And that's not the only history that this place has. The building was completely flooded during Hurricane Ian. And Wink News reporter Camila Pereira spoke with the owners about the difficulty of opening up and now the fitting into the entertainment scene downtown. There's a new spot coming to town. One they say is the first of its kind to pop up in downtown Fort Myers. It's going to be a vibrant, vibrant energy that we bring. We're very happy with the culture that the brand brings and what it's going to bring to Fort Myers. Voodoo Brewing Company of Fort Myers is just weeks away from opening. The name of Voodoo, it sounds, it's enticing. It, it, yeah. it sounds like a place that people would want to walk in the door. And especially like a brewery or somewhere to socialize is just like a huge plus. So. Really excited about it. But it took the owners, Michelle and Keith Tolls, over a year to get to where they are now. The challenges we faced in this location were um, we had to put the kitchen in, and this was a bank before in 1960. And where our kitchen is, is where the bank vault was. So the walls are 18 inches thick of concrete. So it literally took us seven, seven full weeks. If you combine them up, it was seven full weeks of cutting concrete, concrete cutting. Along with having to remove 22,000 pounds of salt from a salt cave left behind by the previous business, Soul of Life. It doesn't stop there. Damage from Ian also got in the way. Ian was very devastating to, especially, you know, downtown Fort Myers as a whole. Being able to kind of move forward with all the bad things that happened to this beautiful city, we're able to be a part of something that's a new experience and a new future for it. And while Voodoo Brewing Company may be a franchise, the owners have managed to stick to their roots. Well, one of the Voodoo requirements is, is hanging doors from the ceiling. And uh, one of our friends after the storm had to remodel from Ian on McGregor and we were able to get these vintage doors out of the house. Because after all, they are located in the heart of this city. Camila Pereira, Wink News.